Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about Verkata Essentials. I just think you guys know, also you guys have probably seen, I work out quite a bit. I just thought it would be helpful for you guys, also just generally to just like a refresh up about some of the workout essentials that you may need at the gym or just before you're going to the gym. Uh, just to wrap up, uh, because from my research actually, when I was going through on YouTube, uh, I feel like recent ones I have done, like it was like two years ago or three years ago, so it has been quite a bit. So I just thought like, you know, I can be a refresher and make a new version, COVID edition, but also something that you would actually need nowadays. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so first thing first, I would recommend a mask. So you should definitely be wearing a mask because of COVID guidelines and everything. Uh, but so I would recommend actually a reusable mask because this is a cloth mask. It goes on like this. It fits pretty well. Um, one the reason I would recommend it because it's more sustainable this way so you can rewash these but because if you're going to use this like five days a week this can get worn out super quick so just make sure to have two or three pairs so you can go in between and you, you can just switch the other one when you're washing one or another but if you can't use this or if you are just sometimes feel grossed out um, even if you are washing it, I don't know, some people do. Uh, you can use like disposable ones but I would recommend not using those like white the blue ones, like medical looking ones, they look pretty ugly. Or KN95, would not recommend it for working out, especially because like, you cannot breathe in it if you are doing cardio or anything. Just recommend like black ones, they fit pretty well. I will also insert the pictures right here. It also looks better in your outfits, just the working out. I mean, some people don't care, but I just feel like you want to look good also at the gym as well, so you can use those as well. Um, but overall, in terms of sustainability wise, I would recommend reusable mask because I think also it can save you a lot of money too because you don't have to be buying disposable ones every time. Last thing, if you're using disposable ones though, I would recommend having two of that because one of that you can use it during the working out. After it gets sweaty, you can throw it away and wear the one after you shower and leaving the gym so you can just put that on because you don't want to put the sweaty one on top of it afterwards. Kind of gross. Okay, second thing I would recommend is some sort of electrolyte. So this one is called Noon. Ah oh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, this one, oh, this is like Noon Sport. This also has caffeine in it, so it's not just vitamins and also electrolytes. So the reason I would recommend this is because when you're at the gym, you are losing a lot of water. Like because you're working out, you're sweating, you're losing so much water. So although you could be drinking water with your water bottle or just water from the water fountain, but you probably might not be drinking as much you will drink like a sip or two, you're not gonna chug like so much water. So you definitely need those electrolytes and everything back. So I think these help a lot. On top of that, because this has caffeine, I would just recommend, I don't want people to get addicted to caffeine, but caffeine while you're working out, like drinking it, it just helps so much, especially some days that like you feel so sluggish, you don't feel like working out. It really helps so much just pushing extra set or pushing harder, it just really helps so much. So I would definitely recommend these. This kind of works out for me as like a pre-workout, but I drink it while I'm at the gym. It really helps me just feel uh, better so I can push more sets. I uh, would definitely recommend this. This one is the one that caffeine and it's ginger lemonade. So it's not super sweet. It's kind of like sour-ish. I kind of like that. So another thing I would recommend is actually a water bottle. So this one is the one I actually got it as a gift from my sister. Uh, it's a Tesla water bottle. It's kind of, I think, like swell water bottle. I particularly, I mean, this is like decent bottle, but I wouldn't recommend it. As you guys can see, it has been chipped in so many places. Um, I mean, it's a durable water bottle, but would not recommend this for gym. Um, yeah, even like bottom of it, like poor thing. It has gone through a lot of things, but it's one of my favorite water bottles. I would recommend other kind of water bottle, but in general, I would recommend water bottle, especially because of the COVID nowadays, you cannot actually use the water fountains in pretty much anywhere, at least what I know in New York City. So you have to bring your water bottle, but also with a water bottle, it really helps to make sure that you're drinking a lot of water. Because what I realized, like when I was using a water fountain, I was only drinking a sip or two, not a lot of water that I actually needed. So I think it's really helpful that like you have water bottle, so you make sure how much water you're drinking. I literally even know a guy at the gym that like he would bring a gallon of water so he makes sure he gets a gallon of water a day which is I think is very good so that he counts that towards the entire day 
at how much you will be drinking water because drinking water during your workout is so important. Okay, so lastly, these are some of the things that I want to mention. Um, not particularly, but you should always have some sort of uh, protection when you're lifting. This mainly applies to like if you're lifting, uh, like I don't know, if you're doing squats, if you're doing deadlifts, or if you are, I don't know, doing a lot of lifting, it really helps. But I feel like in general, you should always be protecting yourself. So these ones particularly I got, it's called from Hustle. Uh, these are wrist wrap actually. So this doesn't really protect here so much, which is the calluses. Uh, it just protects my wrist because I realized whenever I'm actually working out, if I'm doing um, like, I don't know, deadlifts or sometimes squats or whenever if I'm doing sometimes bench press I tend to like do like this sometimes or like my wrist so I think it's important to protect your wrist so it really helps with that but it doesn't really help in terms of these calluses right here uh, I used to have, actually have gloves but I realized like I actually kind of like these I feel like it's so manly to have the calluses one thing I would recommend though these tend to get like really dried out so make sure you scratch these when you're at the shower. So if there's dead skin, try to get rid of that dead skin because if you don't get rid of it at the sh in the shower, they will dry out very quick. So when you're doing a deadlift, squats, anything like that with the lifting, um, it's gonna bleed right on the spot. So you don't want that to happen. Make sure to scratch them out um, when you're showering. Last thing, this is just, well, this is connected to kind of this. Um, this one is for knees actually. So this can protect your kneecap. This is from Muller. Um, I used to have a lot of issues with my knee whenever I would do, I don't know, like leg presses and stuff. That's why I tend to not do so much leg presses. I have to be careful. So um, this really helps with that. So if you have any problem with your knees, if you're maybe tucking your knee in or anything like that when you're doing leg press, especially the weighted leg press, so you really want need to be careful. You don't want to get in like you don't want to injure yourself. So make sure to have something like this. You will see some people actually wearing it at the gym too, for their knees and stuff. Uh, it's just because it protects it, so you don't want to get in, you don't want to injure yourself while you're doing something like that. And other thing is like you can also use like a the belt um, that also helps like extra protection. I personally don't use it because I have been so used to having good posture because I used to dance and everything like that so I don't need it technically but I have also seen it also my boyfriend uses this so that's another thing I would recommend but these are kind of like optional things but I would recommend depending on what area that you're thinking that like you're not doing properly or you think that there might be a problem definitely have protection just in case so you can protect yourself from injury. So these are some of the essentials that you need for working out. They're just some basic ones that I think you need, but there are some things that you can add, some things you can, you know, take out. It really just depends on the preference, but these are just based on me and I think they're useful. I will link them all down below. Similar ones if I can find or just exact ones if I actually works out. So you can find them out yourself and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.